what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna jump right into this this is a video on how to fix your lace front as you can see this lace front is a whole mess like a whole whole hot mess i got holes all in this lace and guess what guys this wig is only a month old i've only had this wig for a month and i did so much damage to it already i don't even know how it happened but i got a whole bunch of holes in here but i'm gonna show you how to fix it um, I did use some thread to sew up a part in the back. I'm telling you guys, I messed this wig up. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it. This is what you're gonna need, some invisible thread. That looks clear like that. I got it from AC Moore, a pair of scissors, and a sewing needle. And I'm gonna show you why you would use a sewing noodle, needle instead of a weaving needle. So your lace is really you know, delicate and you don't wanna put more holes in it. So you can see the difference in the needles. You see how big this weaving needle is compared to the smaller sewing needle. So I watched a couple of videos on how to fix your lace front and I noticed that they have been using this fishing line type of thread, which you can obviously see is way bigger and thicker than the invisible thread. So that's what we're gonna be using. And you'll see the difference in how it fixes your hole as opposed to the, the thicker, um, thread. So go ahead and thread your needle the best way you know how. I had to do it off camera because it took me a, ver a really long time. Yes, this wig looks a mess, but I promise you after it's over, you're not going to see any more holes. Peekaboo! <laughs> you're not going to see any more holes and um, nobody's going to see under your lace front anyway. So if somebody is like grilling you and staring at your lace front, that's really the only way that they could tell that you have fixed up holes but anyway so you're going to pull the hair away from the hole so that you don't get too much hair in the in while you're sewing um some hair is going to get mixed up in there anyway and that's fine because it'll help blend it in so i just take it and push the hair down away from it as much as i can and just try to you know just piece it together i'm better at just showing you instead of explaining it so you guys you know how to sew up a hole hopefully observe the other holes in the lace and I realized that I should just go ahead and fix some of the other holes um because they're really small and a lot of them are really like right by the part where I do my middle part so I need to go ahead and fix those so I just went ahead and patched up the rest of the holes so you want to use your scissors to cut off any of the excess thread and you you know you brush it you turn it inside out make sure you got everything Just showing you exactly where I patched the hole and it conveniently is right next to the um, the weft which nobody's gonna see that weft so nobody should be seeing your your weft or your tracks so it's right next to that so it was easy for me to just seal up that hole real quick guys I'm done sealing up my holes and I'm gonna turn the wig inside out so you can see exactly what it looks like now I did put a picture in of how it looked before. And again, I know it still looks like a train wreck, but I promise you the top of your head is not going to look like that. Like nobody's going to see the thread. Nobody's going to see anything. And if you do have a little piece of plastic sticking out, I'll show you what to do with that. So just comb it out, brush it out, any tangles or anything like that. And now I'm just going to comb it and part it and show you where I fixed the holes so that you can get a better idea of how the thread works. And yeah, if you recall, that hole was right in my daggone middle part where I wear my wig the most. <laughs> and I can see a little piece of plastic in right in the middle, but you can always, and I keep saying plastic because it is, but the thread right in the middle, you can always cover that up with makeup girls, makeup, 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 foundation, concealer, whatever to help blend it in. I promise you that looks way better than a big ass hole right in the middle in your middle part.
you can see that little piece of plastic you can just take your scissors and cut out any excess thread that is sticking out through your lace front so I'm just parting in random places where those holes were just to show you how I sealed up the holes and how you could seal up the holes in your lace just as easy as that And guys, this is where that humongous hole was right in the middle that I put my finger through. And that's over there in the middle. You, I don't even part my lace, my wig all the way back there. So nobody's going to see that. And if anybody's grilling you that hard, then they got issues. So that little piece of thread, just take your scissors and cut it out. At this point, you're just checking for any obvious holes or obvious thread showing that you can, you know, fix it up and customize it the way you want. I'm just making sure there's no like holes right in the front that I missed that are going to be obvious. I don't care what's in the back and people can't see. I really don't care about the top. My main purpose for sealing up these holes were because I didn't want them to get bigger. And then basically your lace front is ruined with all the holes. We spend way too much money on these wigs to be, you know, ruining them. And me, I'm a beginner, so I really didn't know what I was doing. I probably bleached it and washed it too many times. Not bleached it, but I washed it at least three times since I had it. And I think I was a little bit too rough with it. So now my next wig, I know not to be so hard. But um, yeah, I'm not trying to throw this wig away. So guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know if this video helped you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on your way out. Thank you so much for watching.